Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today you are joining me in my BMW M4. Some of you have been asking me, where's the car gone? You know, I've not seen much of it. Well, I can tell you it's not gone anyway. Generally what tends to happen with my M4 is I don't really drive it through the winter months. I now try and use the M4 as more of a weekend toy. And for me, that kind of makes sense. People are just getting a bit impatient, you know, when there's a green light and uh, traffic is not moving. Anyway, so yeah, my M4 um, goes into kind of hibernation and then kind of comes back out around springtime so that I can then enjoy it in the summer months and for me this car is now kind of like a weekend toy and that's kind of gets the best out of the M4 for me I can't really justify driving this car now as a daily with how prices of fuel and all of that stuff are and I do have another daily anyway which I, which I use pretty much for my day-to-day -day needs so this is like a weekend toy and a bit of a weekend joy to kind of drive and whatnot Today's video is going to be about me getting this car serviced. Uh, the last time this car had like a major service was just over a year ago. So the car's probably done about 6,000 miles since it was last serviced with an oil change. Um, but I think now that I'm going to be driving the car over the, the spring and summer, I really want to get you know, fresh oil into it and filters and all of that kind of good stuff. Now I took this car to BMW. Now the best thing about uh, an M car is that once it comes out of its warranty, the service cost apparently drop down so for example an oil change on this which had been an oil change on a microfilter before uh, the car came out of warranty those prices were something like about four or five hundred pounds or something from what I recall now those prices are down like in the low 200s like about 230 pounds or something from a main dealer so I really just wanted to go out there and get the car kind of like you know booked in with the main dealer and you know sit in the solid hall um, and I got the car booked in with them and I took it to them a couple of days ago and they refused to service my car believe it or not they did not want my money and they didn't want to service my car and the reason for that was I said to them I don't want any software updates because why would I want software updates on the car and on top of that the car's being mapped so I wouldn't want to have software updates on that because they would put the car back to stock again so as soon as I kind of said that, the service advisor was a bit like, well, sorry, mate, we're not going to then touch your car because uh, it's against our policy. I kind of find that really odd because uh, the car has been to them before while it was flashed with the stage one and they did do a brake fluid change at that point and I told them at that point as well, don't do a software update. So I don't know what's changed since. So seeing that BMW didn't want to touch my car as it's got a stage one map on it, I then thought, well, sod this, I'll just take it to a BMW independent specialist so today that's where I'm going I'm going to a company called MBM Auto House uh, they're over in the other side of Birmingham and they are willing to do the service on this car so MBM Auto House are a BMW approved workshop uh, they use genuine BMW parts or OEM parts uh, and the oil to the same grading and all of that stuff so hopefully we shouldn't have any issues and they're able to update the iDrive system not only on the car but also uh, at BMW uh, UK so in case like say for example you know you go and read your car uh, sorry your car key at a BMW dealership all the service history will come up so I'm quite excited about that stuff and the best thing is also the prices they're not as high as BMW so let's see how they kind of get on so I'm on my way now to MBM Auto House and we'll see if they let me do some filming over there anyway I'm hoping so that will be the case What's your name, Mister? Lisa. Rocky. Lisa Rocky.
So the car is now back from MBM Auto House. It's now serviced, oil change, oil filter, micro filter, all seems to be all good. And it was slightly cheaper than BMW. So I think it's a, it's a real shame, like if you're thinking about modifying your car, remapping it with a stage one or whatever it might be, and you want to maintain a BMW service history, you got to just watch out because some of these BMW dealerships now, they're just not letting you get that dealership service history because they're not going to touch a modified car. Now that could be a different across like the dealerships and I might have just had like a bad experience with sitting there, but yeah, it just seems to be having bad experiences with sitting there over the last a couple of years with them, especially with the service department. It's certainly not the same as the service guys I used to deal with before they had a bit of a reshuffle, which is a bit of a shame. Anyhow, um, my car's now out of warranty. I really don't see the point in getting the car service from a main dealer. You guys might, you know, want to maintain your cars at the main dealer. I kind of now see it as a point of, well, it's out of warranty. I'll get it serviced from an independent. And usually, I think the independents, uh, from what I've kind of found with using MBM, is that they're a bit more, how can I put it, I want to say truthful, because I think BMW dealerships are also, you know, they're quite transparent, but they just go the extra mile. Like, for example, they just wrote on my, my invoice that, just watch out for the rear diff, you know, that might need a oil change in that, because, you know, obviously the rear diff has oil in it, and considering the car's like four and a half years old, you know, you might want to consider that as well. And it was just nice to talk to the owner of MBM as well, and, you know, kind of get, get his points across as to how many cars that he services, and especially M cars, and what things to kind of look out for as well. Uh, I did even ask him a question about, you know, prank hub issues and, uh, you know, they're like, well, they do get a few and generally happens on the cars that are hugely modified. That was their take anyway. Uh, but yeah, guys, I just wanted to, you know, touch base with you guys because I know it's been a while since I did one of these vids, especially around the M car. Uh, the car hasn't gone anywhere. The next vid's going to be more about this car as well as like driving and, you know, just getting back into it as well. I'm really excited to, you know, be driving this car now again. Uh, only because it's been a while and I just thought that you know it's yeah just give you guys a bit of an update as well and uh, let's just see where this car takes us hopefully you have found this video informative and useful check me out on my Instagram if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do consider subscribing and hopefully I'll see you on the next one take care bye